he can fit his stuff in there. <laughs> what is so He's funny? Enough to try to figure it out. Tetris. What, what are you doing? What do you mean? What am I doing? Oh, he, brought, he brought his AR and something else in there. <laughs> That's what I was doing. We have made our first stop. We're here just outside or right near Kings Island, which is near Cincinnati, Ohio. But we are on a men's trip weekend. I'm here with, well, they're not here. I got Ted Walker, Jason Hyatt, Todd Walker in our vehicle. And we are headed down to the Knoxville Pigeon Fork, Pigeon Ford, Pigeon something area of Tennessee. Super looking forward to this weekend. Just hanging out, boating, golfing, fishing. We have a great chef there, Mr. Chris Styers is gonna prepare the food like he does for these men's weekends and he does a fantastic job. I'd highly recommend Chris if you need something for an upcoming event for yourself. Look and use Chris because his food is really, really good. First stop is done. Uh, I believe we're gonna have lunch somewhere in Florence, Kentucky. Florence, Kentucky. And uh, it should be good. So we'll show you the cabin here shortly. Livia Gray Shiree, I love you and I miss you and I will see you in just a couple of days. You're awesome. Todd loves the camera. He can't fool me. He loves the camera. So is Jason. Jason loves the camera. Yeah, yeah. Ted loves the camera the All most. All the camera's the best. Yeah. <laughs> guys love the camera. Also, we're not on a motor scooter. I still have that motor scooter oh footage. God. I should pop that in here for this. <laughs> City barbecue is good. On our way. See you, Florence. First thing I do whenever I get anywhere, I don't know about you, but I have to unpack. I always have to unpack, and lo and behold, I open up my suitcase and what do I see? Two notes, one from Mrs. Shari and one from little Shari. Thank you, Olivia, thank you, Christina. I love you, you guys are the best. Hi, Jason. How's it going? <laughs> Bye, Jason. See ya. What's up? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I'm not working even though it looks like work. <laughs> That's a computer. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> yeah, What's up? What's going on? Our chef. What How are you are doing? You? Uh, this is the first time I've been up here. I've been here for like four hours. This is the first time I've been up here. Third floor. Did you see the adult bunk beds? I did not. Did you plug that in? Are these, cord that I put there, that white one? are these queen size bunk beds? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Six of them? Yeah. That'll work. Nice. <laughs> Looks like you're still working. <laughs> for a little, for like 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave you alone. John. Guy. John. Jason. Oh, you're... Yes. I'm sorry. I, we strapped him to the car. <laughs> get, get in here. Get in here. <laughs> Go away. The chisel, that, that brings out the chiseled features. Yeah. So what do you think? What do you expect to get out of this weekend, Jeremiah? Oh, man, you had to get all serious on I did. I go from joking to serious like man, just like that. I mean, you just took a left turn. It broke my neck you took a left turn so fast. <laughs>
no, it, you know, I, I want to get, I want to get something. I've, I've been going through kind of a dry spell, and I'm really enjoying. You know, I want to, I want to hear from the Lord a little bit. You know, I get to, I get to kind of, I don't want to say lead a group, but I get to facilitate a group, so that's going to help out a little bit. You know, I get to, and I actually get time. Yeah, time to uh, shut my brain off from all the insanity back home. Yeah. And, uh, and, all the business crap and everything else and I get to just listen to God for a while so Great. it's actually nice that we don't have to go do a bunch of stuff tomorrow we can yep. sit and listen to the rain and listen to all these people there we go <laughs> weekends like this are so important to just disconnect and fine tune listen tune in to what God has to say so it's good to get around like minded people it's good to um, hear what they have to say because God oftentimes can and does speak through other people um, but gosh I love it when he speaks to me directly I love when I hear his voice that still small voice uh, for direction and guidance on what's next so much just changed for us with resigning from the job and taking on a new job and selling the house and so many things are changing um, for the good and I'm excited for what's next, but um, I don't know. I'm not nervous. Um, I'm not anxious. I'm just really excited. That's just a word to hear what God says and how he directs me to lead our family and what's next for us you know, six months from now and one year from now and even five years from now. I'm excited to hear what he has to say this weekend. Um, gosh, it's going to be a great weekend. So. We'll keep you posted. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, more to come.